necessarily, so we can't invoke that rule as is. We have Blake, to do something. what are you doing? Your head has been in space for a while now. I'm fine. Just thinking as always. Well, you remember Peter, right? <laughs> How could I forget? He's basically the guy you're in love with. All you ever do when we're together is talk about him. Well, he's having a party this weekend at his place, and I think we should go. I don't know. It'll be fun. And a little birdie told me that Julia's gonna be there. What? Mm-hmm. Julia. <laughs> Stop, you know nothing's gonna happen between her and me. She is way out of my league. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, the party's gonna be crowded and loud, and you can take her to a place that's quiet so you two can just talk. Hey, anything can happen. I don't know, I just don't think to go on this party's gonna be such a good idea. To be a buzzkill. You can go, and you can go have fun. You just go have fun without me. <laughs> Whatever you say. And I'm gonna have way more fun without you. So, class, when you have the ball at the top of the hill, you have to remember mass and acceleration will remain constant in this scenario. But when the ball goes down the hill, velocity, velocity... Have you ever stopped to think about anything at all? I do this all the time, entering my own little world in my mind. I just think about how bad life can be. There's war, sickness, starvation, murder, poverty, right, Mr. stress. Blake. Mr. Blake! Mr. Blake! Yeah? Can you solve for the height of the hill? Um. Next time, pay attention during class. I have the results from your last test, and they were not good. With midterms coming up, you will all need to study, or your grades will be greatly affected. OK, everyone, please remember to study. And Blake, can you please come see me at the end of the day? You have to. See me after class? Uh, yes. I wanted to make sure that you were okay. You seemed really out of it today and not completely here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just, I've had a lot on my mind lately. Well, that's understandable. But your actions aren't acceptable for class. College is right around the corner for you, and it may seem unimportant, but they're still looking at your grades for this year. And this is not the type of grade that you should be getting. I expect more from you, Blake. You could be getting into a great school, but with grades like these, you won't be able to. Blake, from now on, I'm expecting more from you. Okay, you can go now. I guess. What about you? How's your day today? Mom. Mom! Yeah? Oh, sorry, people from work are emailing me and it's urgent. I'm glad you had a good day at school. Hi, honey. I'm home. Hi, how was work? It was good. Had a lot of clients today, so it was a little busier than usual. But... Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how was school? Okay, I guess. So, our test grade in physics. What happened? It's nothing bad, I just didn't study too well. That is not a valid excuse. It's not even that bad of a grade. College is right around the corner. 
and one grade like that can hurt your chances of getting accepted. I don't want to hear it. It's not even the worst grade I've gotten in the class. I still have a B for my- Stop! Talk back to me, young man. You need to be thinking more seriously about your future. Sorry. It won't happen again. Don't. Make it a habit. Okay. Whatever. Friends, school, family, social media, college, grades, pressure, parties, alcohol, sex, relationships, stress, anxiety, depression. Everything just piles on top of everything else, creating an overwhelming, never-ending mountain of pain. Life. That's what it all comes down to. Life is hard. Life is painful. Life can be too much sometimes, but we keep going. Why? 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 Because in life, there's kindness, care, friendship, fun, laughter, love. Life can be so frustrating sometimes, but why should I care about the thoughts of others when it comes to me? The reason there's so much pain and suffering in life is because the thoughts and actions of other people. Do this. Don't do that. Get better grades. Be manlier. Be more social. Don't be a buzzkill. You aren't living up to your potential. Do better. Why should I let others dictate every aspect of my life? It's my life, not theirs. So much pressure is put on the way we look, our personalities, our future. Making them into these fragile things in life that can be destroyed by the slightest wind that blows by messing up our entire lives. But that isn't true. A life is determined by the person who lives it. If your heart is all in, then you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. <laughs> How did I not get this before? My life is mine alone and no one else's. If I let everyone else live their lives through me, then when will I get to live my own life? That's what I should have done. I should have lived my life for me.